Recovery Channel, where life's pains are healed. Are you following? Amen. Are we here? So the first step is what? Consecration. Second thing is the principles of what? First things first. As long as you don't put God first, he won't put you first. The principles of first things first must be in place in 2022 for the God of addition, the wonders of addition to be strong in your life. You must understand it has to be first thing first. In Matthew 6.33, look at what it says, Matthew 6.33. But seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be what added unto you. What did you see here? The principles of first, first thing first. Anything you are doing, kingdom first. You want to rent a house. Is this house not going to be too far from church? You are taking a job. Will you allow me to serve God? You meet a man. Will this man join me to serve God? Kingdom determines everything you do. You want to travel. Ah, there's a program. No, I cancel. Kingdom first. And that's where many of us are missing it. You plan your travels. You don't care. Programs are coming. You already have your program. He's not first, in your, he's not first place in your life. It's an afterthought. I won't be around. I won't be around. That's why God is never around. Money enters your hand. Shoe, bag. Who you want to help? Who you want to assist in the family? Where is, the, where, where is God's place in your life? He says, seek ye first. We must understand the principles of first thing first in 2022. Your tithe, your first fruits, kingdom first. I shared with you last few weeks. As you are having a plan for your family, yourself, what is your spiritual vision? For 2022, what's your spiritual vision? You already have, I, I intend to buy a car, Toyota 2012 model. God help me. Pass my icon. God help me. Probably get married. God help me. Are you seeing plans? Now, did you see that this person did not ever say this year, one so per week. Take a project in God's house. It's the principle of first thing first. If you don't put God first, God won't put you first. All these things, they are wonders. The wonders of addition, where you just see things being added. Things you thought about becomes a reality by the breaking of the day. There are many things I've imagined. I just thought about it. It's just a matter of days. I just see it come. I didn't pray about it. He says, seek it first. He didn't even talk about prayer. You can do 40 days, 90 days fasting, but you have not aligned your life to put kingdom first. When money hits your pocket, this is how I think. If I see like, if, 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 I, if I see money enter my account, ha, ah, what are we doing in church that has to be completed? Or what were we planning to do in church that money wasn't available? That's how I start. I start with making my money available first. I'm not a 10% person. I'm a 70, 80%, 90% person. I push short, I have my resources. Let this thing work. When first thing first, God will make you a number one priority. Proverbs 3 verse 7. Look at Proverbs 3 verse 7. These things are not just overnight. Consistency in practicing them will turn your life around. Proverbs 3 verse 7. Look at what it says. 
Proverbs 3, 7. He said, be not what? In thy own. Do you know what is distraining a lot of people? They are too sensible. Too wise. Jacob's problem was that. He was too wise. They are too smart. Ah, not carry church for head. Though, you hear with you. Do we hear things like that? Come on now. Do we hear things like that? You they go to church. <laughs> the year I've started again, though. Leave church alone, though. Be wise. They are buying aircraft. Who deceived you? Who deceived you? Day for yesterday, David o came out and said he made 12 billion in 2021. All his fans were commenting. If a man of God now say, I made one billion, turn that fire you. That's what they will say, Abby. <laughs> no, talk to me now. We are happy when secular people that entertain us are making it. But we have an aggrieved heart when the people who call for prayer are prospering. The man who entertains you and the man who prays for you, who is more powerful? After entertainment, I sit and slap you on your right ear. Can you dance the video again? <laughs> when you're in the hospital, can they play whiskey for you? Yesterday I was having a family prayer meeting. My phone was ringing. I was planning to answer the call after I finished. They started calling Pastor Lucy. A member of the church was in crisis. You see, we, we always forget the role of the church. How the church would model our children. The investment of the church on us spiritually. And when it comes to investing into the church, we are deluded that church must have nothing from us. It is not the people in the world. It is Lucifer that has invaded the social media to make you hate building kingdom. But can I tell you something? Whether we like it or not, there are kingdom builders. There are many testimonies I'll share with you in the course of the year. I've met with people who share things like the things I was watching a testimony recently from a woman in a church. She gave a testimony how she was pouring her life into her ministry during the end, end of her annual program. This woman was begging for hand to mouth and God lifted her. In a space of six years, she flies her own aircraft in Nigeria. Stood on the altar, gave a testimony how God changed her life through her givings. Be deceiving yourself, momentously. The crowd of the fools, the person he that walked with the wise will be wise, and the companion of food shall be destroyed. Hey, collect your money. How much do you have? How much did you give? Even the ones who didn't give say, yes, nobody will have my money. Who is collecting your money? Do you even have money? You are a broke person. <laughs> See broke person talking, say they are collecting this money. I met a man in America. A Nigerian, evil guy. He said his father held his hand and said, before you build your house, build church. His father, not even a pastor. And God opened doors for him. When his mother died, he had about $30,000. He came into Nigeria. He took 70%. I'm not telling you to go and do it. To, so I think I'm just trying to wind your brain. But I'm only telling you that there are human beings that are doing it. The village has not called him. Are you here for your mother's burial or you are here to build a church? Today, as I speak, the man has built six churches and donated it to living faith. Six, a human being. While you are here, eating your vows, a human being. He's not even up to 45. He has given churches to church. Are you aware that last year, living faith church, they built 1,000 rural churches and they gave it to them? Because where will poor people have going to build church? Do you know when Bishop Oedipo called for people who will join him? Some people came and stood that they were going to build 15. Some said they would pay 10. You are here. Say, I'm going to my money. I'm going to my money. 
They plan to finish the project by December. By June, they, fin they finished it. By June, human beings like you. Choose your crowd. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. The evil he's talking about here is ye ye sense, edo sense, yoruba sense, evil sense. That is the evil. Am I talking to somebody here? All right, go to verse 8. Verse 8 says, And it shall be head to thy navel, marrow to thy bones. Go to verse 9. Honor the Lord with thy substance. The year is starting. The first blessing, the first increase, honor him with it. Are you all listening to me? This is a preparation for 2022. It's not just fasting, fasting. How many of you know that a vehicle does not operate with petrol only? Come and talk to me. Is it only petrol that moves a car? Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. It's not master key. It's one of the keys. That's why some of us, our mouth is smelling. Smelling for fasting. I did 19 days with redeem. I followed the Lukoya. I followed this one. I heard that MFN, they are doing 120. You join them. Who told you it's fasting? I'm telling you all that keys now. Consecration is one of the keys. You can't be defied, smelling with iniquity. And they'll be doing dry fasting. They are calling, say, please wait, I'm fasting. When I finish the fast, I will come and spend weekend in your place. <laughs> and God was listening. <laughs> Tani. <laughs> what does that mean, Yoruba? Jide, <laughs> Jide, don't worry. We'll soon finish the fasting. Cool down. Don't go outside, GDO. I'll come and spend the weekend. <sighs> Be not what? Be not what? All right, go to verse 9. It says, Honor the Lord with thy subs and with the first fruit of thy increase. Now, this is what some of us see, and we react. We react. But we don't even see the B part. This is where the B part comes. The B part says, when you honor God with your first fruit, verse 10, go to verse 10. It says, so shall thy bands be filled with plenty, and thy priests shall burst out with new wine. It's an overtime. Where you, as small as you are, you'll be doing six projects, training 15 people. It's a wonder. You become a wonder in your family. You have multiple streams of income, businesses, money is hitting your account. One is bringing 100,000, one is bringing 1.5, one is bringing 1.2. Doors are opening for you. Do you know I asked this brother who built five churches, I mean six churches. I said, do you know Bishop Oedipo? I said, I don't know him. I've never met him one-on-one. -on -one. I just did my project, handed it over to the church. He said, I only come for Shiloh once a year. You travel from America. I said, how close are you? He said, I, the closest is the gallery where I sit. There's some of you here, you have even entered my ear. <laughs> but you don't hear what I say. Do you know there are many people obeying the word of God? The doer of the word shall be blessed in all of his deeds. Pastor, I want to hear your voice. I want to hear your voice. Pastor, pastor, pray for me. Are you seeing anything? Are you see anything? Did God show you something? How is this year going to look like? Pray again. Nothing. Pastor, no see road today. Be looking for those who see road. That's how people did see road the whole of 2021. So shall I what? We boss to pray. Can I hear a loud amen? amen? Stand to your feet, everyone. The last, which is not the least, so was a prayer. Stand to your feet, everyone. Luke's Gospel, chapter 4. 
Luke's Gospel 4, quickly, Luke's Gospel 4. Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan. I was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Verse 2. Verse 2. Being forty days tempted of the devil, in those days he did nothing, and when he were ended, he afterward what? He hungered. Who led him to fast? The Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit is power, is that not so? But the Holy Spirit what? Led him to fasting. Fasting is what unlocks the power. You can have power, but it takes fasting to unlock it. If you go to verse 14, look at verse 14. 14 says, go to 14 please. 14 says, and he returned in the power of the Spirit unto Galilee, and there went out a fame of him throughout all the region round about. He had returned in the power of the Spirit. He had returned in the power of the Spirit. When he went, the Spirit was there. But when he fasted, he returned in the power of the Spirit. You need power for wonders. Jesus fasted. Return the power of the Spirit in verse 14. Look at verse 32. 32 says, and if you go to 32, it says, and they were astonished at his doctrine for his word had was with power. Someone say power. power. Power means when you say, when your words are with power, you say it, it will be, it will come to pass. Amen. Look at verse 33. Devils began to scream because they could not stay in the environment of power. And they had a spirit of an unclean devil, and he cried out with a loud voice. Is somebody hearing me? You see me sometimes, I'm casting out spirit. I say, Look into my eyes. It takes power to do that. There are powers that confront your business, they cannot look into your eyes after today. Amen. I want to encourage private retreat. Private retreat is. Take a day or two, lock yourself. If you have too many people in your house, go to a hotel, lock yourself for two days. Seek the face of God. Lord, I clean up. Lord, help me to clean up. Lord, strengthen me. Lord, this is what I want to do for you in 2022. Lord, help me. Lord, connect with God. You that is trusting God for husband, you will have five men pursuing you. Pursuing you threatening each other because of you. I didn't hear amen to that. You hear men say, I will keep because of you. You like that? You like that? Amen. 2022, we see the wonders of marriages back to back. to see the wonders of children after long wait. God will give us wonders of miracles of children. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now lift your voice with me and say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every, yoke Every yoke of sin, of sin. Break. break. I unyoke myself Jam your hands, I'll yoke myself from every impurity. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Now we're going to pray every yoke of sin that easily beset me. That thing that will not let me serve God. There are many of you, you love God, but there's something that is yoking you. It can't just let you have a good prayer life. Because one thing sin does, sin destroys your fellowship with God. Are you aware? Two, sin robs you of your confidence. When you have committed sin, you cannot be confident to pray. It drives you. Because when you live continually in sin, the accuser of the brethren will be visiting your house. As you lift your voice, say, Call, who is talking? Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> you are saying, oh, my father. Which father? You sinner. Keep quiet. That's why I see some people when they are praying, the two seconds, the accuser of the brethren have, has invaded their ears. They can't pray anymore. Sin kills faith. It, it kills your boldness. 
So we pray tonight that sin that easily beset us, let the yoke be broken. Amen. That thing that makes me fail in the presence of God each time I stand to pray, as I pray, let that sin die. Amen. Let it die. Amen. Let it die. Amen. Whatever besets me so easily, as I lift up my voice, as I jam my hands, let it die from the root. Jam your hands and pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. I said, Amen. 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 There are many of us here. There are things we are doing. We hate it. Paul said, That which I hate, I find myself doing it. And the things I want to do, I find myself not being able to do it. Now, Lord, as I pray, Lord, let the appetite for that sin die. Amen. Jam your hands. Say, Every appetite. Strange appetite. As I pray, die, 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 die. The Karabashapa. Mosi Prilarabas. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now we are praying that everything that represents an idol in our lives. Let it be uprooted. Amen. God said, I'm a jealous God. Let me tell you one dangerous thing about an idol. When God finds that you are tying yourself to a person, and the person becomes so much a determinant factor, do you know what God will do? He will take the person from your life. Because his glory will he not share with another man. That's why you keep seeing destiny helpers in quote disappear. It's God that is removing them so that your eyes can be focused on him. Say with me, say, my eyes are single, Lord. My eyes are single, Lord. On you, 2022. You, 2022. you are the God of signs and wonders. Of signs and wonders. Anything representing an idol in my life and in my heart, as I pray, let it die. 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 Jam your hands and pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, concerning John 3, uh, taught John 2, the Bible says, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in him, even as thy soul prosper. Can I ask you a question? For how long will you be an usher? For how long will you just be a nominal Christian? Have you ever aspired to be a pastor, even as a banker? Aspire to do bigger things for God. David was not a soldier. He took food to his brothers. Then he saw a man making mockery of Israel. And he said, who is this man to defy the armies of God? I will take on him. That's spiritual growth. You grow from being an errand boy in the house of God to take higher responsibilities. Have you ever said to yourself, I will be a cell leader. I want to run a cell group. I want to become something bigger than what I have always been. For 10 years, you sit in church, you should be ashamed. That's why your prosperity has not appreciated. If you don't become a pastor, who will be the pastors? See, there are some things, dimensions I'm coming this year in my teachings that will shock you because I've sat down with God and God has given me revelation. Your spiritual growth is what increases your material blessings. 
I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper, be ahead, even as thy soul prospereth. In other words, your soul, the, the prosperity, the level of your spiritual progress becomes the determinant factor of your physical growth and manifestation. When Saul became king, did you notice his spiritual growth dropped? It led to his detriment. He learned disobedience. The throne was taken from him. David became king. But you see a man who grew in spite of his human frailties. Psalm 51. Look at him confessing the sin. He sinned and my mother conceived me. Creating a clean heart in me, O oh God. You see a man, a king, but humble and broken. Some of you here, just a good job. You are something else. You are a nuisance. A nuisance. Some will just marry like this. Jesus is their classmate. A whole king saying to God, he said, Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. You see the value David placed on the Holy Spirit? He had respect for the person of the Holy Spirit. You can see the progression of David. God blessed David. He blessed his generation. Do you know when Jesus came, they called Jesus the son of David. Jerusalem is called the city of David. There should be an equation. Your spiritual growth should increase. You must grow spiritually. You should become a teacher after a while. Many of you here, the reason why your life has not appreciated is because you have no plan for spiritual growth and elevation. I met a woman many years ago when I was on television regularly on MITV. Her husband, a banker, AGM, if I'm right. She, a lawyer. Do you know the husband built 11 churches? Planted pastors under what they call this man um, in Ekwe, in Leki, not to do a uh, this man, Amanga, Samamanga. Samamanga. They planted churches into the villages. The husband hired pastors from the church and pays them salary. The woman right now, they, are, they, are, they retire from the banking sector. They are big. They are based abroad. They are waxing strong. They were not full-time pastors, but they were funding the pastors of the church into full-time ministry. That's growth. The man who sent me 10 cows, he does it by revelation every year. He has revelation. I don't need to call him. If that guy leads you in prayer here, the guy, he's a businessman, he's a billionaire. If he leads this church in prayer, you will run mad. If he quotes Bible here, you'll be shocked. If he quotes Bible here, three years ago, he said God told him to fast for 100 days. A businessman with investments everywhere. Let me say this, everyone. You cannot be dying spiritually and expect outward prosperity. It doesn't work. You have missed it for a long time. I'm teaching you right now. Most of you don't have devotion. You don't have a personal time with God. You don't even pray in tongues. Secular music is 24-7 in your house. You don't even have a Bible. You don't even study Bible. You don't have time of fellowship with the Holy Spirit. You don't even have a prayer altar in your house. All that has to change in 2022. There must be spiritual progress. For an usher, you should be a pastor. From a charity leader, you should become a pastor. You can be a lawyer and pastor a fellowship center. In Christ's embassy, there are pastors who are running satellite churches. They keep their job. Redeem. They're like that. True or false? 
He redeemed. You see, businessmen, they, they will buy land, build church, pastor it, keep their business. Here, yeah, you cannot even come to church. You think they will lay hands on you, poor yeah, you will have dandruff. What is the spiritual progress inside of you? Every time you come out, I, I want prayer. I want prayer for my business. I want prayer for my business. My business. I'm just praying for a destiny helper. I just want uh, people to, uh, to support me. To support me. And when they share grace, you are the first to disappear. No spiritual connection. Sunday is only the time they see you. If they don't tie a special prayer to a service, you don't show up. Lift your hand. 2022, there must be spiritual growth. Yeah. Mothers, teach your children to be committed spiritually. Fathers, encourage your wife for materials that will grow them. Buy your wife's Christian materials. And see them study it. Say in the name of Jesus. Say with the name of Jesus. Every spiritual stagnation. Die. 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 Jam your hand and spiritual stagnation. Spiritual stagnation. Spiritual stagnation. Spiritual stagnation. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, spiritual stagnation must die. Must be uprooted from your life. Karaba mashaba lava rabasa. Reporoye ramaya bahaya. Spiritual stagnation must die. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Take your seat for one minute. Listen to me, everyone. Jesus delivered the man from madness and insanity. And the man said, I will follow you everywhere. Jesus said, No. He said, now you go become an evangelist. He became an evangelist to how many cities? Ten cities. Spiritual growth equates physical growth. David, in his kingship, he said, then will I teach transgressors that way. Sinners shall be converted unto the, a king. Your store is for gossip. Your house is for gossip. When the ark of God came into the house of Obedidom, everything he did prospered. Is the ark of God standing in your house? Is your house producing missionaries? Do you raise your children on Sunday, Sarah, on Saturday? Children, let's go share flyers. Don't you see other churches doing it? Don't you see churches doing it? Don't you see human beings doing it? One of my daughters went to UK recently. She called me, said that I was shocked. I saw some Nigerians at the train station preaching. Said I was ashamed of myself. They are godly people. Elijah said, I am the only one that have not bowed. God said, shut up. I have 8,000 people. You think it's everybody that is a God hater? You think it's everybody that is spiritually dead as you are? Please wake up. 2022, you can't have progress. You can't see the wonders of transformation. You can't see the wonders of breakthrough if there's no appreciation in your spiritual life. People should enter into your business premises and be hearing kingdom music. Feel the presence of God. Share flyers, materials. Be a giant for God. Have night vigils in your house. Call for fasting among your children. I let them pray. Yesterday was 1st of January. My mom is passed on. My dad is gone. I'm the fifth child, but first son. I put it on the family chart. We are going to have prayer meeting for one hour. A house that is built on God will stand. Not on wealth or prosperity, no. The sustaining force of any building are pillars. Where are your spiritual pillars? A whole year, husband is sleeping, wife is sleeping. 
spiritual growth is not oil on your head. It's an inner knowledge. Those who know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploit. Do you know God? Or you know oil? Can I buy oil? Or as you say, the secretary for oil. You don't know one verse of scripture. If I ask you, quote a scripture, you'll be doing it like this, blink, blink. Do you know what it means for a whole mama to be a spiritual illiterate? Knows nothing about God. Look at the testimony of Timothy. He said, your grandmother. Give me first Timothy. See, first Timothy, second Timothy, chapter one. He talked about a generational inheritance. He said to Timothy, he said, you have known the scriptures from your youth. He said, I know your grandmother, Eunice, and um, Louis. He said, the same spiritual heritage is also in you. Timothy was the third generation. He was a pastor. He was a pastor. Give me verse 5. All right, can we read it now? One to go. He said, when I call to remember the unfailing faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother, Louis, and thy mother, Eunice, I am persuaded is in thee also. It started with grandma, sitting the children, teaching them the word of God. Grandma, Louis, had a spiritual heritage. He transferred it to Eunice. Eunice transferred it to Timothy. What are you transferring to your children? I tell your children, as you find rich, you can't bring a man to take me out from poverty. Are you aware that many mothers are putting their daughters under pressure to go and prostitute? The prostitution you see on the street today, they are sponsored by greedy mothers who want to live a life that their husband didn't give to them. That's why you find most guests are not getting married today. They're under pressure to please mama. Grandma, see Eunice, see Louis, see Timothy. They're telling your daughter, try you. What up, cross? Try you, try you, try you. Your daughter is earning 40,000. They're telling her to try. Tell her to pay her rent of 250. How will she do it? You have not gathered your children to teach them the power of prayer. The power of trust in God. Growth is important in 2022. i leave you at this point. Those who know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Please grow. Please grow. Become leaders. Become pastors. Become evangelists. And grow into spiritual grace. i leave you with this this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. If it... Sovereign Word Church, where life's pains are healed.